representing China, he is the Big Dipper, Shang Kui! I'm actually a little bit disappointed, Bas, that we didn't ask him about his nickname. Shang <laughs> Kui, yes. Zhang Kui, the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper. 25 years old, bringing, uh, you know, he's been training for five years, and he already has a, a, a total pro and record of 35 and four. Wow. Representing France, fighting out of the red corner, he is Mr. K.O. Jeremy Payet. Well, it says France, but uh, he's actually from Ile de Réunion, out uh, just off the coast of Madagascar, so about as far from France as you can get. And you can see him toting traditional garb of that uh, <laughs> island uh, municipality into the pit area tonight. We saw him last time out uh, with a TKO win over Fernando Paz. Looked phenomenal. Really exciting to have that young man back. Zhang Kui, look, uh, his training partner we saw in the first bout of the night, Li Lin Shan, absolute clinic, vicious clinic from, from that lady's strawweight competitor. If her training partner, Zhang Kui, is anything like that, we're in for a really, really exciting bout. Mr. KO, Jeremy Pyatt. 80% of this man's 16 kickboxing wins have come by knockout. That's how he gets his nickname. And we wondered last time he fought, how was the very long trip from the Indian Ocean going to affect him? And yep. uh, it really didn't at all. It, 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 guy's an animal. I'm super excited Fighters. to see him fight again. In and it's cool because we don't know anything about his opponent. Go back, go back, go back. Go back. Gentlemen, Ray. Round one, sir, you ready? You ready? Let's Get go. involved on all social media with Karate Combat, at Karate Combat on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, pretty much everywhere. Of course, you can watch every event live and free on YouTube. Beautiful technique, man. Cross liver shot immediately off the bat there. Boom. Nice to look at this. Wow, great good, counter there. Yeah, by good Chen combination. Kui. Oh, good combination from both fighters. Yeah. yeah. Both guys throwing very nice, oh. tight, complete combinations. Oh, and Kui gets backed up there. Oh! Again, the cross liver there. He's liver hunting. Payet. Oh, boy! Man! <laughs> Jack is coming back after getting hit pretty hard. Especially with these gloves. Look at this. Look how I love how relaxed both guys seem already, and they're throwing massive combinations. Yeah, the combinations, they're flowing. It's beautiful. Both, right, both. Yeah. Oh! Heard the impact from that four-ounce glove here, but not a beat oh, miss. Body shot, body shot again. Wow, he's mixing it up. It's a clinic. It's reminded me KY in Japan, right? Right. They do combination. Oh, so both good. shots from Payet find the mark. But Zhang Kui is eating everything, and he's not losing eye Fingers contact. That Fingers. takes a little hard away from you, man. If you hit somebody hard, <laughs> then they don't move. You go like, shoot. <laughs> oh, oh look at that. body hunting again. Liver, liver to the head. Liver, liver left hook cross. I mean, anytime someone doubles up that left hand, you get very excited. Oh, I love it. You, you know what, especially when they work the body, we've been talking about it yeah, the whole yeah, night, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now they start oh, to again see. going to the body. And Payet so relaxed, right? So relaxed. Unreal. Guys, we should point out that the, the knockout bonuses that these fighters get for winning by knockout on top of their show money are, are very substantial. They can quadruple oh. their fight purse by winning with a knockout. <laughs> they win by decision, believe it or not, they get nothing. Never seen that before. Never. First, first time. First time. That, I want to see the replay. Final 40 seconds here. It's been relentless action from both of these guys throughout. Ooh, nice liver kick. If that connects on the inhale, that's a problem. Wow, Chen Kui just keeps coming back. He can... Oh, so so does Pyatt. Kicks. It's inside. You okay? Whoa. 
Yeah, that was a weird game plan I heard, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you uh, might pick the crowd advice up there, but... Uh... The way he steps out and then drops that uh, jab. Oh, and again, look at this. And also, he's so relaxed. Oh! Oh, jumping knee from Payet. Five seconds left here in this round. And the Frenchman, wow. absolutely Great relentless. Amazing. You see, that now that is... That's almost perfect, right? I mean, he's really good at his distance. Everything connects, mixes up the body with the head, head with the body. I mean, he's all over the place, wrapping it up with kicks. <laughs> Picture perfect. When he Let me see if they show that when he catches the kick and does that crazy thing. Some of the replays here, that was a big oh, right, and then that this. double left hook. Yeah, liver left to cross. No. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Tornado so kick cool. to the leg. Who does that? <laughs> Well, some very visible swelling on the face of Zhang Kui so far. Yeah, you think? I mean, I, it's amazing that he didn't even was wobbled. Look at his breathing. He's completely relaxed, completely perfect breathing. No shoulder movement whatsoever there, Papayet. Yeah. And Zhang said that he gonna go, he's going to go inside to, to box more. Yeah. Because he's like, Payet is He can't find it. Yeah, yeah he can find it. He's got be better distance, but it's really good with the distance. Keeps it. There we go again. One, two, liver. And just, that, the front kick you know, with the cross. I just mean. mixing up the target zones constantly as well. Man. There we go oh, again. We what go. is he going to do now? Oh, oh see something fashion. different. Bump to the face. Oh. Oh, he really just turns that over in the short distance and then What's the lateral fingers? movement to get out of the way. The way he moves backwards and counters. Very technical, very technical. Oi, oi, oi. Lots of volume from Payet here. Zhang Kui still pushing forward. Wow. It's amazing, this. He doesn't let him oh, fight inside. Let's go, watch it. Well, the referee says he didn't see an accidental uh, inadvertent eye poke. Hi, uh, parrying with the open hand there. Oh, again, catch the kick to the body. Shot. How do you catch the kick and then liver shot the same hand? Well, that's, yeah, well, that, that's actually a thing that I teach my students. <laughs> Because nobody expects it. Payet throwing a lot of techniques, but he's throwing much more than in the hood. Look at this! Look at this! Impact! And then I mean, slide out of the way. I don't think he had that gene in his head that no, that knows when to go down. I mean, he takes every shot. I mean, look, the, the rest of the lightweight division Oi. should very much be on notice here with this kind of performance from Jeremy Payet. I don't want to count Zhang Kui out yet, but it's a lot of one-way traffic with a minute left in the second round here. The way he measures his distance with the jab the whole time, right? Like Keeps him it. apart. I like so apart. much. And how he slips. Okay, one more slam to Well, Zhang Kui pushing forward here, getting some licks into his own. The crowd motioning oh, him on. Wow. Both guys taking shots here. And he lands again. Well, it's a tight down. Final 40 seconds. Guys, time, 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 time. Listen, I'm going to give you one final warning, OK? Your fingers are outstretching. Do it again, I'm taking the point. Are we clear? You OK? Yeah. Time, people, time back in, let's go. Sam Amiri taking control. Nice cross there by Chen Kui. They're connected. Oh! Well, he, ate the, he landed the body kick and then took a very short left. Uh, in, but he's pressing forward, a lot of aggression. Just keep moving forward, Zhang Kui. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I, I have Pete, no clue. What, guys, what does Zhang Kui have to do here to, to try and just stem Hi. the flow a little bit? Hi. He's going to get a red card now. Neutral corner. He's going to get a red card. You OK? Yeah. Stay, there. Stay there. He's going to get a red card. Keep doing it. Oh. Yeah. One point. That he one lost the round now. The yeah. Yeah. So one point. One point. Oh, so if he wins the round, it becomes a drawn round. Yeah. Which means uh, it potentially in the third round, if Zhang Kui can take it, we'd go to a fourth because we'd end up with a draw. Still opening his hands, he's gonna watch out. Wow. 
Well, this is very, very interesting because that point deduction for Jeremy Payat means that even if he won that round, he could still potentially be only one round up here. Wow, yeah, that's and 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 Sankui, Chenkui, he's coming forward now. He he tasted right. a few connecting punches and now he feels that he can do some damage. So all is there very much still to play for. That was the first catch of the kick. I want to see the second one. Yeah, but the liver shot. Went to the liver. Boink. This was a big flurry in the middle of that round, though. Zenku is doing what he said. He said he's going to go inside and box some more. And he's doing exactly that. But I mean, he can take an enormous amount of damage. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. every sane person would have been knocked out. Yeah, I mean, one thing you've got to say is when uh, when Zenkui is taking this damage, he's still keeping his guard up. He's still trying to move. He's still trying to fire back. Yeah, and he fights his target as well. So it's like it's not he's throwing just on instinct. He's still still watching. Well, looking. Zhangqi first down to the pit here. And as I mentioned a minute ago, due to that point deduction for Payat, all still very much to play for. Karate tokens are available for purchase in most jurisdictions, including through the Karate Combat app through C14. Get some today so you What's can play Up Only Gaming for KC43 in Las Vegas. Oh, that was the liver shot. You loaded up for it. <laughs> I think front kicks would be a really great weapon right now to stop. The oh, oh, that's a big right. Yeah. Player just takes it like it's nothing, though. Yeah, he's in incredible shape. Good body shot again. Yeah, doubled it up to the head once more. You see, I like the reverse of that a lot. One of my favorites, the hook to the head first and then the liver shot. And then look, look at that in the eye, yeah. because he thinks the second one is also to the head and then you go for the body. Well, Zhang Kui pressing forward, trying to land that big nice right. Nice knee. Yeah, and that was thrown like a true strike as yeah. well. Boom, boom. Smart, you see, nobody does that. Everybody goes for the head. Yeah, he's so technical. Oh, wow. Those knees are the coming in part. Again, I always talk about it. If you're breathing in and it connects, that's it. You're going down. You can do 5,000 sit-ups a day, doesn't matter. Zhang Kui driving forward, eats a left though, despite trying to pin Payet back in the corner. Big uppercut as well. It's like Matt Horowitz. You remember that guy? <laughs> I mean, Benji Radek. And Benji can hit. He hurts my hands on the focus mitts. <laughs> and he gives him everything. And the guy does not go down. And then he really? wins. He wins. <laughs> He's completely emptied himself on his head. It was insane. Well, we've got a minute and 15 seconds left here. And but Kui is still pressing forward, still landing, and still eating shots. So Kui is in very, con very good condition. Very good condition. Yeah, but the thing is this, right? You, you, the trainers shoot more, more on head movement because this for your career, you, you want to be able to speak afterwards. <laughs> this is just damage. Yes. So Although he doesn't go down, it is damage. And later in the career, suddenly when he gets knocked out one time, that's when it starts. You gotta yeah, watch out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got Guards it. it, pressing forward again, stabbing front kick. I love that, the front kick. I was just talking right, about it. Right, they should throw right. those more. Close, close fight here. The karate right. token camera giving you the bird's eye view from some of the crowd up in the scaffold here, watching Pyat and Zhang Kui go hell for leather with okay. 30 seconds left. So look at Zhang's face. It's insane. Paya is clean. Yeah. Look at him. Oh. Yeah, he's even even with the, the, the point deduction. Yeah, I think he's, he's probably taken all Oh, around. yeah. Man, five seconds. Wow. What a match. The final buzzer sounds. Wow. Let's go. I don't necessarily think that Zhang Kui has done enough to no. force, a, force a fourth round there. No. Is it the third one? Just the third round. Yeah, it goes by fast because it's so exciting. <laughs> right? Man! Yeah, like you said, he sent the signal to the whole lightweight division now. I mean, this is insane. I can, a normal person cannot take that damage. Oh, yeah. Because he's so young, so young, right? Yeah. By the times go by, he's not gonna handle that for 
Yeah, but well, eventually, it suddenly it starts. You know, you you gather those punches, the punches. It is brain damage. I don't believe what people say. Oh, if he's not dazed, it is. You know, you shake the, the head. It's not a great game plan. Yes, it works, yeah, makes yeah, you yeah. win fights, but you want to be able to speak to your kids yes. when you get older, right? Yes. I mean, I talked to, to some boxers. Oh, my Leo's fakes. I couldn't understand it. Really? Yeah. So with we're tallying the scorecards, uh, Matt side here, and as they say, there is a quirk where we could see a fourth round. I don't personally think we're, gonna, we're going to, but you never know. What are we doing? Uh, Jeremy Pyre and Zhang Kui, regardless of who, who wins this one, I mean, I think it's Pyre as well. Yeah, he has to win. And, uh, it's, his coach is wearing his backpack right now, his <laughs> parachute. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's in it, but there's something in there. A flag at least. <laughs> That's actually pen, pinned on. <laughs> but look at his breathing. You know, you see, that's what I talked to you today about, you know, it's just perfect breathing. That's why he's so in shape. His shoulders don't move at all. It's all, all diaphragmatic. And that's why he's just in shape. He his shoulder like that. Yeah. Just. And people don't realize every time you lift your shoulders, you have to carry that weight up. It's all extra weight. Guys, what do we think about uh, Zhang Kui in the corner? We're getting a look at the swelling of his face now. It is just, oof. But that's what I mean, it's brutal. Yeah. It's not a great game plan. Yes, it's effective. Again. It's, I, I was talking today with the fight with... Uh, oh, me, come on, I need this ticket uh, out. Mac, 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 Mac. Our champion, the UFC champion. Oh my God, now I'm throwing <laughs> a complete blank. <laughs> you know, remember I was talking about, he fought against the Australian guy oh, in the dressing room. Oh. Mac. I'm drawing a blank as well, yeah, Mark. It's sorry. <laughs> we, we've been to some rough days here. A lot of interviews, a lot of 22 interviews in one row. Video shoots before, photo shoots in between, and then a session here, and it's like, it's been so crazy, so it's affecting we, apparently. We are still waiting <laughs> for the judges to tabulate no. their scorecard here. There's no way. He's, they're they're going to go to the fourth? No, nah, that would be crazy. I mean, I, I can see a world in which it happens, but... Uh, well, we look, the stats are going to tell it all, and then you can yeah, see... You'll find out in a minute, but we've got quite a setup here in the Dominican Republic. You can see the crowd, literally, when I say this, packed to the rafters, not metaphorically, <laughs> quite literally. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. Having a, uh, having a good party in this kind of fight fourth. atmosphere. We're going to go to a fourth. It's a hot... Wait, we are? Wow! We start here. Okay, these fingers, you've got to stop, okay? Close your hand. We okay. are going to go to a fourth good? sudden death round right. here. And that's because of the red card. Oh, uh, oh no. You can't have it. So we're going to one more round. Let's you go. Can't, on. Yeah, you can't have it. Right. <laughs> well. Well, I overheard what was going on there. We'll explain it in a little bit. Um, but the long and the short of it is that we decide winners here at Karate Combat. You can't have a split decision and you can't have a draw. So we have a sudden death fourth round and that means that the three previous rounds are completely wiped clean. Oh. Oh my God. Man, it's... So who takes this round is going to take it and you want to talk about digging deep right now. This is it. But for every person who wants to become a great striker, look at what Payet is doing right now. That is beautiful. Working the body, working the head, wrapping it up with kicks. He's doing everything right. He just has a, every sure. time he does something different, right? With that. Yes. Catches the kick, kicks back. Catches the kick, back fist. Catches yeah. the kick, cross. Impredictable, impredictable. Catches the kick, liver shot. Yeah. I mean, four different ways. That's it, unpredictable. It's everything. Watch your fingers. So Payet firing here and <laughs> guys, to, to bring yourself after that long of a, of a rest break to come back and have to do it again. It's, well, you got a little bit extra gas in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, Jeremy Pyatt like he, just he, thundering he's shots. He's hitting the there. pad, man. Yeah. He's hitting the pad. He's, exactly. And he's connecting almost with every <laughs> shot. What's your kick? Your kick. So when this round ends, I'll fill you in on the nuance of what led us to this fourth sudden death round. It's our first one tonight, actually. Wow. Oh, 
So Zhang Gui still with the center of the, the mat here, and he, he has, to his credit, continued to press forward. I have a feeling that might be what swung him one of the rounds. But uh, could that point deduction come back to haunt Jeremy Pyatt? There's a minute left here and still all to play for. Oh. And he can't rest on his laurels. No, he needs to go because uh, Cheng Gui is coming forward. Right, and the three rounds that we've seen so far mean absolutely nothing at this point in the fight. Gui is landing here, and, and you know, I, hate to say, I think Pyatt's got to go. Yeah. I think Pyatt's got to really start throwing again here. Yep. And he's got only 30 seconds to go. Head movement. Not really there for the fighter at this point. Wow. 11 seconds left. Yeah, Chen Kui looks like he's going to win now. Yeah, this, this could be a turnaround of epic proportions. And that is going to do it. The sudden death round is in the books. Now, guys, while we've got a quick break, let me fill you in. What I heard from over on the sidelines was that this was rendered a majority draw, which means that two of the judges gave at least one round to Zhang Kui, which, along with the point deduction, would have rendered it a drawn match. Of course, this is karate combat. We don't do draws and we don't do split decisions. Yep. Which means it triggers a fourth sudden death round. Sean O'Malley. Oh, yeah, that was, <laughs> that it. was there the you fighter. Go. I guess the, the guy with the blue hair now, from Bass, Australia. How do you, you know, and, and Lyoto as well, how do you feel about this fourth round? I'm a little bit worried for Jeremy Pyatt now in the scheme no, of things. I, 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 me too. Me too. And I think that he was way ahead on the scorecard. He delivered way more punches, way more accurate. Are we going to see the stats later on? And that will tell them. But hey, these are the rules. And the rules are whoever wins the last round, like you said, it's wiped yeah, I clean. Hate, I hate to use the cliche about don't leave it in the hands of the judges, but uh, don't leave it in the hands of the judges sometimes. Yep. Payet did a very good job. Yep. So technical guy. But Zangui, because he moved forward all the time, you know, maybe yeah. he pressed the judge. I did, I did I, feel the impact of Payet with the, the shots were just much, much more solid. Everything it was connected was just that he could take the shot. Right, let's go ahead, go down to the pit, get the decision for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this fight by unanimous decision out of the red corner, okay. Jeremy Payan. Thanks for watching. I'm Layla, and if you liked what you just saw, make sure you subscribe.